underclassmen who are wondering what it's really like to be a senior. In your next clip, you'll see how much it pays off when you pay those dues. Welcome to the Music Man as I attempt to answer the following question. Who's better, the hives or the vines? Now, yeah, 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 I know MTV tried to answer this one during their Video Music Awards, but surprise, they bungled it, leading to no decision. Luckily, there's a guy like me around to pick up the slack and stage a rematch. How? By reviewing each of their albums. First up is the Vines debut, Highly Evolved, which is one of the biggest success stories of 2002. What were they going to number one on the back of their hit, Get Free? This is a great first disc and only seems to go two speeds, a full tilt or a slow crawl. This can be good on tracks such as Get Free and Out of the Way, but hurts them on Mary Jane in 1969, which both drag really badly. These guys rock, but it's a little early to be comparing them to such lofty artists as Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd, as the British press have already done. So I give this one three thumbs up. Another success story from this year is the highest is Benny Vidi Vicious, which is riding high on the single Hate to Say I Told You So. The concept here is pretty simple. Five Swedish guys. They play garage punk. They show us how good it used to be during their time of the Clash, the Ramones, and the Buzzcocks. The best part is, Hate to Say I Told You So isn't even the best song on the disc, as songs such as Main Offender, Die All Right, and Supply and Demand take that credit. This is a 29 minute assault on the eardrums and one of the hardest rocking albums of the year. I give these debonair Swedes four thumbs up and the battle of these bands. Till next time, I'm Dan Anderson, and you're not. Hope you enjoyed this Tuesday's episode of Sham. We'll catch you back here this Friday. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>